Bhagavad Gita, Chapter 4, Gyan Yoga, Yoga Through Transcendental Knowledge, Verse 4.1 Sri Bhagavan said, I instructed this eternal science of yoga to the sun god Vivasvan, who instructed it to Manu. Manu then instructed it to Ikshvaku. Sar Ardhavarshini In the fourth chapter, Sri Bhagavan explains the reasons for his appearance, the eternal nature of his birth and activities, and the superiority of transcendental knowledge, jnana, in the form of study of the Vedas. The path of spiritual advancement to transcendental knowledge, jnana yoga, which is the objective of selflessly performing one's prescribed duties, nishkama karma, is glorified in this verse beginning with imam, as well as in the next chapter. Sarardvarshini Prakashikariti. In every Manvantara, an incarnation of Manu appears, the initial Manvantara being Swan Yambuva Manu. The first person to receive instructions on Gyan Yoga in the current Vaivasvata Manvantara was Manu's father, Vivasvan, the sun god. In this verse, Sri Bhagavan introduces the concept of a Sampradaya, a bona fide succession of self-realized spiritual masters. Without this unbroken spiritual lineage, neither Jnan Tattva nor Bhakti Tattva can manifest in their pure form in the material world. This disciplic succession is also known as Amnaya Parampara, only by this disciplic line are the gravity, antiquity and significance of the subject specifically proven. It is seen that in India even the common people have faith in the ancient disciplic lineage and are devoted to it. That Guru Parampara or disciplic succession which bestows complete knowledge of Bhagavad Tattva is called Amnyaya, or Sampradaya. Mantras that are not received from a bona fide Sampradaya are fruitless. In this present age of Kali, there are four Vaishnava Sampradayas. First, Sri, Lakshmi. Second, Brahma. Third, Rudra. And fourth, Sanaka, or the four sons of Brahma known as the Kumaras. Sri Krishna is the original source of all four Sampradayas. Only from Sri Krishna does real knowledge of the Supreme Person flow into this material world. Dharman tu Sakshat Bhagavad Pranitam Real religion comes directly from Sri Bhagavan. Srimad Bhagavatam 6.3.19 as stated in Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavan Sri Krishna first instructed this knowledge to Vivasvan, the sun god, who then instructed Manu. Manu, in turn, gave this divine instructions to Ikshvaku. Thus, the system of the civic succession or Guru Parampara is an ancient and reliable tradition that ensures the continuation of the Sampradaya or lineage. By it, divine knowledge has been preserved to the present day. Whenever this line is broken, Sri Bhagavan again arranges for it to manifest in the material world. Exalted pure devotees or Mahabhagavatas, such as Srila Vishwanath Chakavarti Thakur, Srila Baladeva Vidyabhushana and others in the Guru Parampara of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya, realized this divine knowledge and instructed the common people on it through their realized commentaries. Unless a person is properly situated in this disciplic succession, he can never understand the real import of Bhagavad Gita, even if he is highly qualified in terms of material knowledge. 
It is important to protect oneself from self-made commentators. Otherwise, realization of the true meaning of Bhagavad Gita will not be possible. Although milk is pure and nourishing, when it has been touched by the lips of a snake, it acts like poison. Similarly, topics of Sri Hari are supremely purifying for the material world. But when they are recited by non-devotees, such as impersonalists or those who consider the body to be the self, hearing such topics becomes the cause of one's destruction. In this connection, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has also said, Mayavadi Bhashya Shunilehaya Sarmanasha. If one hears the commentary of the impersonalists, everything is destroyed. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Lila 6.169